What's up guys, Smotus here and um, here I made this video on request and it's again about Thunder Tier 1 and the subject of this video is how to create or how to customize the single player missions so make your own missions with your own rules and terms so first you need to go to single player and you have the campaign and single missions so to unlock more single missions you might need to play first the campaign each campaign mission one will appear in the uh, will be unlocked in the single mission tab so these are the campaign missions that are transformed in single missions now here it's the trick select first a mission that you want to play and after you will have the mission overview and uh, here are the information regarding the mission here are is the screen related to the briefing and the request and here you have another tab a labeled settings click on it and because it's a single mission that can be customized here are some uh, information that can be changed and some sliders can be changed and also some selectors first it's mission settings time of the day you can select if you want to play uh, day down sunset or night and the weather forecast if you want to have a fog or rainy or maybe you like to have extreme weather like storm and so on so it's your choice so let's say sunset and storm i don't know how storm is i didn't play yet a mission that has a storm as a forecast <laughs> now stormy weather <laughs> difficulty settings here you can change you can adjust the slider as you want damage to the player for example all are set to 100 percent this is i think normal but you can slide for example damage to the player to put 25% so you'll be more invincible now in I think uh, so enemy must uh, must shot more bullets in order to kill you so this uh, this uh, multiplier is 25 now if you slide on to 125 that means uh, the realistic setup damage to ally for example, uh, damage to ally, it's the same thing as to damage to the player, but it's uh, applied to your squad members. Damage to the enemy. Well, here it's, of course, the thing that you want to, to know. If you maximize the multiplayer, that means you sh need to shoot less bullet in order to kill an enemy. And if you slide it back to the 25, uh, you, I think you need to... Uh, spent an entire clip in order to kill just one enemy. I don't know. I didn't uh, try. But let's uh, set up it normal to 100%. Enemy count multiplier. So this is like the label says, increase and decrease the number of enemies coming from a general spawn points. Well, for example, uh, are some missions that have spawned enemies. For example, if you trigger an alarm or uh, kill somebody, they will call from some reinforcement. And uh, these uh, sliders adjust the multiplayer. For example, if you put 150%, and that means that more soldiers, more enemy terrorists will appear to encounter you. So. Uh, try to play with it as you want. Arrest multiplier. Uh, this arrest multiplier does the same thing. For example, uh, if you are alone and if you want to arrest one guy, uh, there are some chances that the guy doesn't want to be arrested so easy. So uh, he will uh, try to fight back or something else. If you put a multiplier to 150, you have better odds of uh, arresting someone uh, from the first try and of course if you press it to zero that means nobody but nobody will let you arrest them so they will fight back good so now very important uh, lone wolf uh, this is a set if you want to play with a squad or without squad default it's no that means that you will play with these guys from the back here 
if we you you said to no you play with the squad but if you press yes then uh, you will play alone as here okay um so i like to play uh, i made some videos stealth videos and i play alone so i will set up yes dbno toggle the down but not state of or on what means if this is enabled as a default that means if one of your team members or even you it's shot there is a chance that you will be taken down unable to move and you will need somebody to come and heal you up with the healing or with the medkit so if you put press it yes uh, you will enable the chance of getting only down not kill if you uh, set up this to no that means when an enemy will shot at you it uh, and he will take you down you will be directly dead together or not at all well that's obvious what doesn't means one for all and all for one so if one of your teammates dies the mission will be a failure now the game settings difficulty type or code or realism well here the difference are not very big but um, there are, for example in case of realism the enemies are more aware of they are reacting more quickly they are starting to search for you and all the spots and they will not so dumb to return to the uh, default state so play careful if you enable rail is one shot one kill and this is a, uh, applied also if an enemy shots you loadout point well these loadout points you can increase or decrease it's the number of points that you can use the, to gear up your uh, yourself and your teammates that means if you set the maximum to 40 loadout points in the gear up section here some of uh, the attachments re require to be some points spent and here you have the budget use you, you can see you have 40 out of 40 so if you have less points then you need to take uh, take out and get rid of some kind of attachments or some uh, some stuff enemy reveal enemy reveal is if you see an enemy all your teammates will see that enemy and you can choose here are four options by player only that means when i see a guy i can see i am the only one from the teammates from the entire squad that, that i can see that guy uh by i teammates for example if one enemy s sees me it's the only uh it's the only one that can see me but here it's by i teammates that means that all the teammates or, or the enemies will be aware of my presence in that location and always visible so always visible that means that for example if you see an enemy in some spot you will see wherever he goes out of your range enemy reveal uav for examples it's the same thing but this applies is like the enemy reveal but this is applies only when you use the uav system thermal penetration disable and enable this is applying or only for uav and that means that in the default state it's enabled but if you disable you cannot use the uav to spot enemies that are inside bunkers buildings houses and even caves so you will see only outside enemies uh, of course when you use the thermal uh, vision from the uav so that's 
all the things that you can uh, change and set up and customize the single player missions and making your own customizable operations. And this, of course, applies for every mission or unlocked after you play the campaign. First, uh, when you play the um, first, um, when you start the game, the Red Sword operation is enabled, is the first single mission, but as you progress through the campaign, more uh, mission will be available. So, in my, from my point of view, there are three, six, nine mission in the entire campaign. So, uh, after I play the last mission from the campaign, the Operation Black Knock Uncle, I will unlock all the single player missions. I hope this will work and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time of course with another Thunder Tier 1 video. Meanwhile, of course, how I forget, if you aren't subscribed yet to my channel, please make it now. Do it for me. Thank you for your support. Meanwhile, thank you very much for all that you like my videos. And we'll see you next time. Until then, best wishes from Smotus and bye-bye.